Hi friends. Okay, so for this last week, I've uploaded the handout in week four, and it's all about the right um the writers toolbox or the rewriters toolbox. Um, and this is taken from the book Writing True by Sandra Pearl and Mimi Schwartz, and I've adapted it slightly. But um, I want you to look at the different tools they give us for revision. Things that will help strengthen our voice, will help increase the energy in the piece, will help um, keep the tension. Um, in what we're writing and it will if you can diagnose what you're writing based on some of these tools you're going to be able to solve a lot of problems um, that might be coming up with like a shaky voice um, just any number of things uh, that might be undermining your writing so take a look at the handout see what you think and what, then what I want you to do for this week and I know this is our last week together but I'm going to read what you post in week four, and you all are welcome to read each other's in week four as well. Even though we won't necessarily have a new video lecturette and a new handout, we can, um, if you are game, still read each other's work and give each other feedback. I will read everybody's pieces in the fifth week and give you, and give you feedback. So what I want you to do is I want you to look at those tools, and I want you to try to use two or three of them in your revision of this piece that you're working on and see what it does for you um, and then maybe reflect a little bit on that too when you post next Monday about how is this working for you okay or not next Monday but the following Monday all right if you have any questions let me know I think that's everything I wanted to tell you oh I also uploaded for your reading pleasure uh, the essay Chimera by Gerald Callahan um, <laughs> Is it Chimera? I think it's called Chimera. Anyway, uh, it is a really interesting piece. I uploaded it for you because in the toolbox it talks about um, weaving and layering. And um, his essay is an example of weaving and layering. He writes about his, um, his deceased wife and each time she reappears in the essay, there's a new meaning added to um, his experience with her and the reader's experience with her. All right, I think that's everything. Let me know if you have any questions, and I look forward to reading your revised pieces. Bye.